to my channel according to cat if you are new here please introduce yourself in the comments below if you're returning just say hi and what are we going to be making today well today we are making some more home decor pieces on a budget using dollar tree and other really affordable products if you'd like to know how i made all three of these make sure you stay tuned oh and if you want to know what products i've used check out the description box below with all that being said let's get right into the video Starting out with DIY number one. So the first thing I did was I took this Waverly chalk paint in maize, which is a nice light yellow, and these three pineapple wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just painting the bottom of each of these pineapples. I just did a pretty good coat and then if any places were a little thin, I went back and touched those up, but I didn't give all of these a second coat. Now I'm taking this Waverly Antique Wax and adding a little water into the cap to thin it down, and I'm going to just apply this right up to the top where the leaves would be. Now the reason I went with the Antique Wax is I wanted a more rustic look and I thought this would give it that rustic farmhouse look. You can paint it any color you would like. Now I'm going right over that yellow, the maize color with the antique wax just to darken it up a bit because it was really light and I wanted a more muted look so that's why I did this I should have waited a little longer as you can see it was still wet and when I was putting the antique wax on top it started blending together so I'm just taking a chippy brush and going back over um, and just darkening it up a bit now I have to use my Waverly chalk paint in truffle which is not a wax because I got some yellow right at the bottom of those leaf leafy areas so I wanted to make sure that you couldn't see that so the chalk paint covers that right up so I just kind of you know used that truffle paint and then blended it out a bit and I just put these to the side to dry now I'm taking this a bamboo wreath from the Dollar Tree at first I was going to use that greenery then I was going to use this greenery and then I ended up using one piece of fern for each side at the top so just two pieces of fern and then I will use the spike flowers that I used in my last video. So I'm taking these two fern pieces and just layered that at the bottom as a base to where the greenery would be. Now I'm taking these spike flowers. You know that I used them in my vases last video and I had some left over, so that's what I'm using. I put three on each side and that filled that out perfectly. So the next thing I did was I took these letters. These are the letters I love to use from Amazon. I will link them down below and you get about nine of each letter in the pack, 200 uh, letters in all, and it's a really good price, perfect size, and I use them all the time to make signs. That piece of wood is one of the slat pieces of wood that you get from the Dollar Tree. You get four in a pack and I use them all the time. I love those. And I just use some Waverly Antique Wax to darken that up as a stain. Now I'm hot gluing these three pineapples together on top of each other. You can see how I stack those and I'm just going to hot glue that right at the top of that wooden plaque. I wanted to put the pineapples on first so that when I put my letters on, I know how much room I have and there you go. So you can see right here, I'm putting it right there at the bottom of my wreath and I'm just spacing everything out. I am taking the letters spelling out welcome home and you can see welcome, I curved a bit and then home I did straight across. I'm using my Dollar Tree uh what's that called the um ah the super glue gel yes that's what i use and the reason i like to use super glue gel with these letters is that the first of all the tip is really pointy so it gives me that precise gluing capability 
And the second thing is that you get a second to move it around. It doesn't dry as fast as hot glue, but yet it dries fast. So at first I tried to just glue this whole wooden plaque thing on with just hot glue. That did not work because of the bamboo wreath being so holy. Well, not, well, <laughs> holy and having so many crevices that it just did not, that just did not work out. So I used a piece of, what is that called? Oh, burlap ribbon. And I glued that right to the back of that wooden plank. And then you can see I'm hot gluing that right on that burlap rib ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm just laying my wreath bottom right along that hot glue. I add a little more and now I am wrapping the burlap ribbon right around the wreath. And this held it in place pretty well. There was a bit of wiggling, so what I did was I took some Dollar Tree tumbling blocks, just two of them, and I hot glued that in place. And once all of this glue dried, it really did um, become much more stable. Now I'm taking that same burlap ribbon that I used to hold everything together, and I'm going to use it at the top as my bow. Again, this is from Dollar Tree, and it is the kind without the wire inside. I'm just looping it on top of each other and I will just gather the center and take a piece of twine and tie it around the middle. Now you can leave it just like this, but I decided that I wanted to make a double bow. So what I did was I did that same technique again, just took a loop, wrapped it around itself. You can see this is the second time I'm doing that. And I am just going to tie the twine right around it and then I'll take to both pieces and tie twine around both pieces and make a double bow. I am not the best bow maker, so that is why I'm not spending a lot of time showing you how I make bows because I don't really do that great a job with bow making, so I do my best. Now, what I'm going to do here is just take that excess twine that I did not cut off and I'm just gonna tie it around the top of this wreath. So I did not need to hot glue anything at the top and that way if I wanted to switch anything out, I could. And this is done. I hope you like this as much as I do. Looking up at a tree, I remember how it started. I was lost in a dream when the fire in my heart said an open roll oh, I've already found some like the feeling grows And anything sounds alright, I'm breaking loose Living in the moment Next, moving on to DIY number two so the first thing I did was I took this pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and this Rust-Oleum Smoky Beige two times ultra cover spray paint. I love this stuff. I gave this pan two thin coats of that Smoky Beige color and I really like how it turned out. Next, I'm going to apply this wall decal from the Dollar Tree. It is scripture Luke 1 verse 37. Faith does not make things easy, it makes them possible. And I really love this saying. So you can see that if it got stuck a little bit, cause it liked to like suction right to the pan, I was able to pull it off without pulling up the paint. If I used chalk paint on this pan instead of spray paint, I am pretty certain that the paint would have pulled up. So I'm really glad I used the chalk paint. And you can lay that out however you want it. I liked it to the right a little bit and that looked really pretty. Now I'm using these florals that I've had for a really long time. I do believe I got them at Joanne Fabrics. And again, I've had them for a while and I had two pieces. So I had enough to put one sprig at the top and kind of drape it over the top of the pan and one at the bottom. Next, I'm going to use these little wire cutters to cut the stems so I can lay it on nicer. And if you're enjoying this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel and it lets me know what kind of videos you want more of. 
And right now I'm just going to take some hot glue and lay it, put some right there under both of those stems and hold that in place a second and give it an opportunity to dry. Now I'm still manipulating how I'm going to drape the, these florals over the top and there is some wire inside so that helps me a bit. But to get them to where I want them to be, I'm just going to take a little more hot glue and just add little dots around the outside just so things are laying where I would like them to. But I didn't put a whole bunch, I just put a couple little dots. The next thing I'm doing is using this ribbon that I got around Christmas time and it has a wire inside so I can shape it the way I'd like. Now I'm just kind of looping it onto itself once again and I did it to the point that I would have three loops on either side of the bow. Bending it in half so I know where the center point is and then I'm going to just take this piece of string and tie it around the center tie it into a knot and then pull out the loops. Actually I had four on each side, not three. And once I did that I'm going to make the tails. Actually I'm not going to make the tails. I'm going to just cut a little piece off of the center of the bow. And I will just hot glue that on right around the center. Now I should have put the tails behind that part but I forgot to do that but that's okay I'll just do that now. I just cut off a long piece and I'm just angling the ends so that it has more of that dog ear look and then I just hot glue it right there on the back of the bow and you can see I am letting those tails hang freely. I also make sure that I used my lighter so that I could burn the ends a little bit of the ribbon so it doesn't fry. And this is done. I put that right on there and I hope you like this as much as I do. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you all night trying to figure you out I just want to make you smile Hold your hand in my hand Looking at the sunset Man, you're looking good tonight I want to kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you're doing You're making me feel like I'm Last up, DIY number three But first... I just want to take a quick moment and thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If you're not familiar with Skillshare, it is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creative people just like us on topics including illustration, design, photography, and even crafting. Skillshare is for so many different levels. You could be a beginner, a pro, or all the way to a master, and you will find so many classes just for you. I love that most classes are under 60 minutes with short lessons to fit any schedule. You can see right here on your screen that they're broken up into segments. So you could watch them in like five minute increments or you can watch it all at once. One class that I took that I loved was building an Etsy shop that sells by Parker Guard. I thought it was really helpful because it gave me strategies that I could use when I opened my Etsy shop and it also gave me examples of shops that are successful. I'm so excited because the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your creativity. So if you would like access to thousands of inspiring classes, make sure you check Skillshare out. And back to the DIY. So the first thing I did was I took this nautical rope from the Dollar Tree and this galvanized steel clow, which was a hanging piece also from the Dollar Tree. So what I did here was I just took a piece of that rope and I am just pulling it apart. You can see I cut it off there and I'm just taking all three strands of that rope and just unraveling it so that I have three pieces with each section that I'm cutting and you can see I'm just laying it all out and I just start hot gluing it right there on the back. It's okay if it's not perfect al perfectly aligned at the bottom because we can cut off any excess when we're done. 
and I just hot glued right straight across on the back of that cloud. The hot glue stuck fine for me, but you can use a different type of glue if you'd wish. So the next thing I did was I took this little wooden piece that I used that I had left over from a previous craft. I like to save things like that instead of throwing it away. And this was from one of those Dollar Tree signs. And I just cut off what I wasn't going to use. And then I'm just putting a ton of hot glue right on those rope pieces and then I'm laying this right on top. And that way this is not going anywhere. This craft is super quick, but I really think it has a nice boho look to it. And you can see I'm just cutting straight across the bottom and it just reminded me of like a boho hanging of some sort. I was going to write something on the galvanized cloud, maybe with my Cricut or some Dollar Tree stickers, but I decided not to and I liked it just like this. I just like the simplicity of it and I hope you like this as much as I do. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. And here we are at the final reveal, my favorite part of the video, and we get to recap everything we just made. The first thing we made was this welcome home wreath, super farmhouse, super rustic, using mostly Dollar Tree products. I love this one. Next up was the Faith Making Everything Possible hanging pan. This one, again, another farmhouse looking DIY, but I love this one so much. Next up was the super simple boho galvanized cloud with the rope. This one, super cute and easy to make. So tell me which one is your favorite? I'm gonna go with the Faith Pan. I love this one and I just love the colors of it. And yeah, I hope you do too. Thanks guys. So that's it, that's the end of my video. I hope you liked everything you saw today and I hope it inspires you to make something of your own. If you have not checked me out at Instagram over at Cat Luna Designs, please do so. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you did. And as always, thanks for watching. Bye. Well, today we are using some more Dollar Tree products and some other real, uh, uh, no. If you'd like to know how I made all of these, check out the description box below and you will find some uh, if you have not checked if you have not checked me out so that's it that uh.